Hi there, I'm Anna, your tech fairy, and I'm glad you found this video because I was waiting on someone to go on a Linux adventure with me. So tell me, do you know how Linux differs from what you used to in Windows? I'm sure there's something new I can show you today. I'm running Ubuntu on VirtualBox for Linux. So let's go ahead and log in first. My password is Anna, but shh. Don't share the secret with anyone, okay? Now let's fire up our terminal and head to the root directory to see what we have in there. We already talked about being boot, dev, home, media, and mount the other day. So today let's check out some other directories. How about a lib directory? See, we have lib, lib32, lib64, libx32 symlinks that cover all architectural bases. If we use ls li command, we can check where they actually live and it looks like we can find them under the user directory. Don't believe me? Let's just head to the user directory and see what's inside using ls li command. Here, do you see? No sim links in here. Windows doesn't have a directory explicitly named lib as standard part of the operating system like Linux does. In Windows, everything is more standardized to system 32 for 64-bit libraries and sys while 64 for 32-bit libraries. Since Windows doesn't have a lib directory like Linux, we'll need to do a little bit more digging to find where similar applications or libraries are stored. Let's see what do we have inside our lib directory first. Well, look at it. I have a feeling we are not going to be able to go over any other root directories today. Here I know a fun game that we can play here. I spy. I will tell you a directory, file, or a sim link that I have in mind. You'll be able to see it on the screen, of course. And then I give you a hint so you can try to guess what I'm referring to. Are you ready? <laughs> it's gonna be fun, I promise. Okay, I spy. And it's a number one song these days. I hope you guessed it. The song is APT and directory called is apt. Apt is a package management tool used in Ubuntu and other Debian-based systems. It helps you install, update, and remove software packages, making sure your system stays up to date with all the necessary tools and applications. So, for example, to update your system and all installed packages, we can use sudo apt update and then we will follow it by sudo apt upgrade. Windows doesn't use a package manager in the same way Linux does. Instead, software is distributed as executables or Microsoft installer files for installation. Here. Let's just search for executable files. You see all these files? An executable file in Windows is like a self-contained program installer. You double-click it and it installs or runs software. Think of it as a delivery truck that brings the app to your system and unpacks it for you. On the other hand, apt in Linux is more like a personal assistant. You tell it what software you want and it fetches the necessary files from online repositories and installs everything for you. Okay, let's go back to our iSpy game. Okay, so iSpy and here's a hint. If your program written in C++, it will typically have this extension. Did you get it? <laughs> okay, here we have a CPP symlink. Since it's a symlink, we can check where the actual directory is located by using lsli command. Wow, it actually lives in etc directory. And etc directory, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is like the brain of your Linux system. It holds all the configuration files that tell your computer how to behave. Think of it as a rule book for your operating system. 
Let's see what's inside. Wow, look at all these files and directories. There are also a few symbolic links in here. And hey, look at this, an executable file. Also in here, CPP directory in Linux contains C++ standard library files, templates, and other files related to the implementation of C++ features. This might include things like runtime libraries, C++ headers, and other files necessary for compiling and linking C++ programs. Windows doesn't have a direct equivalent to the CPP directory inside of lib. C++ libraries and headers are typically bundled with the developmental tools you use, like Visual Studio Code. For example, when you work in Visual Studio Code, you can install different extensions or packages for languages like Python, C++, and others. If you download the C++ package, Windows will store the necessary libraries and headers along with the Visual Studio Code app itself or in directories associated with the compiler you choose to use. Let's go back to our game. Hey, <laughs> do you like this game or not? Or is this just me enjoying it? Leave me a comment if you are still playing. Okay, I spy. And here is a hint. This company stocks rank third amongst the biggest gainers in the end of December 2024, but it was number one in September the same year. Do you know what I'm talking about? Did you invest in it? I totally messed out. Bummer. This directory contains essential files for NVIDIA graphics driver. Enable your system to communicate with your NVIDIA GPU for tasks like rendering graphics and running GPU accelerated computations. Let's look inside NVIDIA directory. Oh, it doesn't look like there are any drivers in here. Hey. I know why. Remember, I use Ubuntu in my virtual box. So we can use this command. We can use it to check my current driver setup. And let me break it down for you. LS PCI can list all peripheral component interconnect devices on the system. This includes graphics cards, network interfaces, USB controllers, and other hardware connected to the PCI bus. VGA is commonly associated with display or graphics cards. So when we get a list from our ls command, we will send it through the pipe to Grab, who will search for lines containing word VGA. And flag I is just makes the search case insensitive. So let's use this command. Here you go. Do you see it says that my virtual machine is configured to use the VMware SVGA2 adapter? This means that the NVIDIA GPU from my host is not passed through to the VM. VirtualBox abstracts the graphics hardware presenting a generic virtual GPU. So installing NVIDIA drivers in the VM won't have any effect in my case. Now, let's try to find NVIDIA drivers on Windows. Essential NVIDIA driver files are stored in the Windows System 32 drivers directory. Do you see? We have an entire folder dedicated to NVIDIA Corporation. Okay, let's look inside of this folder. Do you see this bin file? This is not the main driver for NVIDIA. It is a binary file that stores driver-related data like configuration settings and driver version information. We can try searching for the main driver in the system32 folder. Let's try to put nv for nvidia. Duh. There are way too many files. I don't remember the full name, but I know that we are looking for a sys file, which is a standard file extension for system driver files in Windows. And also I know that this driver needs to operate in kernel mode because it should have access to system resources for managing GPU. 
so we can use that and just put a star in the middle and here we got something let's check the properties of this file we can go to details and look it says nvidia windows kernel mode driver i'm satisfied with the search results are you so back to the lip you can see other directories living inside the lib like this linux related directories first up we have linux directory it holds essential kernel files next linux boot you could probably guess that this directory packed with files to boot up your system like kernel utilities and boot probes that make startup magic happen inside linux tools you can find performance tuning utilities and system diagnostics to keep your kernel in tip-top shape and don't forget linux we <laughs> that's the hardware enabling stack making sure your system stays compatible with new hardware so no full system upgrades required look I skipped Linux sound based directory and this directory is all about the sound like drivers and files that ensure your audio hardware works smoothly this lets you enjoy music and listen to my lovely voice <laughs> hopefully I nailed the audio this time I'm using a very fancy microphone let's see if there are other directories in lib that sound very important Okay, so I spy, and this is the first process started by the kernel after the system boots up. This process is responsible for initializing the system. If you guessed in it, you guessed it right. In a directory contains files that are crucial during boot up, ensuring that everything is set up and ready to go before you dive into the OS. Windows doesn't have a direct match to Linux lib in a directory, it achieves the same goal through different mechanisms. Okay, let's head back to our lib directory now. Look, here's also the udev directory. Udev is a key player in device management. It has rules and scripts that tell your system how to recognize and interact with connected devices. Basically, it makes sure your system knows what's plugged in. Udev is highly customizable in Linux, allowing users to define rules for specific devices. In Windows, one component that serves a similar purpose is plug and play. Let's see if I can find it for you. Okay, so first let's search for services miscellaneous using a Windows Plus R shortcut. And in services we should be able to find plug and play and here it is look what it says it enables a computer to recognize and adapt to hardware changes with little or no user input <laughs> so i get it the main difference here is that while windows is busy playing with every device you plug in linux udev already knows your devices and let's you play with them so what else do we have in our lib look here is a kernel directory this is where the kernel modules live the kernel is all about managing your system's hardware and resources it makes sure everything attached to your system communicates properly okay before i turn into kernel myself let me give you an example in windows so if we head to the system32 folder and just search for kernel files here the kernel32 dll application extension all right that was enough of lib directory for one day like subscribe and let me know in the comments did you like my spy game tech furry is out <laughs> Bye.